small arteries and arterioles play a primary role in determining systemic vascular resistance. As blood passes through arterioles, pressure decreases significantly. Decreasing arterial radius and decreased wall elasticity are the main reasons for increased systemic vascular resistance. Small changes in vessel radius can lead to large changes in resistance and blood flow. Vasoconstriction of a vessel brought on by smooth muscle contraction in the arterial wall increases systemic vascular resistance and can reduce blood flow to almost nothing. Vasodilation of a vessel brought on by smooth muscle relaxation in the arterial wall reduces systemic vascular resistance and can dramatically increase blood flow. Venous return is the volume of blood flowing back to the heart from the systemic veins. Increased venous return through the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava leads directly to greater cardiac output. Decreased return contributes to decreased output. Four factors that increase venous return are blood volume regulation by the kidneys, venous tone, and skeletal muscle and respiratory pumping.